The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 22nd of November. Let me just go straight into this because there's so many things that I need to talk about. Uh, it's Technical Friday, so let me start right away with the E-mini. E-mini had this pattern earlier on. Let's just move it up right there. So there's a technique. I have webinars on this. Uh, subscribers know them very well. I have uh, oh, 10 or more uh, webinars and these different techniques in the Chapman Wave methodology. One of the techniques I developed a long time ago was the narrow rectangle and the large rectangle. The narrow rectangle sees the price stay within a range and is a fairly narrow range if you look to the left side and you look at all the different price movements. Now it's just stuck in this range and it's a narrow range and it fools you all the time because you think it's going to break out to the upside instead it turns around at the horizontal trend line and comes back to the lower one and you think it's going to break down then it doesn't it turns around and does it over and over and over then what happens is it suddenly breaks to either the upside or the downside and i have rules for that but look at this it was almost an hour it was an hour 8 30 to 9 to 9 30 when it broke out an hour in the one minute chart all right that's the one thing next thing is we had some discussion about i have a technique that i developed i found out years ago especially when you're trading in increments of 25 cents instead of a penny that if you um if you have parallel highs on your way up i use them sometimes as especially if you've had two, in this case you've had, this is the second one right here, with the E-mini 10-minute chart, ESZ -E contract, went to uh, 59.69.25 at 8.10 a.m. this morning, Eastern Time, and the very next bar, the 8.20 bar, had exactly the same high. So what I tend to do, especially if I'm in a position, I tend to say, oh, I'm going to use that as a phantom peak because if we make another high, and that high sees a sharp pullback, that really could be the, a D, because we're always looking for four higher peaks, peak D, the fourth highest peak you can see right here in the five minute chart lurking over there is that peak D with a pullback. Um, that's where you can, you want to be ready for it. So if you have some positions, take a little bit off there and let the price, if the nine period moving average is still strong, which it was, then that D that I typed in over here, oh, why, there it is. That D that I typed in over there um, gets unactivated as soon as you go, in this case, not penny, but 25 cents higher, because then you see, and often this happens, that that phantom peak was just a warning and that you're now going to make the real D. Aha, all right? So that was the one technique. So it was just a warning, but the nine, look how strong the nine was. I'm going to talk about that in a moment when I get to the Dow. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, he has your D. This is where you've got to be a little bit careful at D. And you can see the five-minute chart is starting to pull back. But look how strong the nine over the 14 is. And then I drew this in right here with a, a right arm extension to a peak F. And then we went to this rectangle right there, another peak F. And look at this. He has the, the large rectangle. And I drew this in. Those of you uh, in the uh, Tiger's Den, if you were looking at me, you saw that I, looking at my chart, that is, you saw that I drew the rectangle. And we went straight up, failed underneath that, and we started to arch over. And I drew this arch in to say that left side low right here, if that's taken out, be careful because you can go down to at least the 200 period moving average. That's exactly, this is live. I mean, none of this is looking back. And I mean, when you look back, it's perfect. When you're doing it live, it's very different. So the target is 69.69, the 200 period moving average of the one minute chart, and we'll see what happens there. Okay, so I've finished up with those. Um, next thing I want is the question that I had. I'm going to do it right now. Um, about well, whoa, whoa, where was it? Oh my, I wrote it down. Wrote it down. Yes, I'm going to get to those in a moment. But I can see I've got Paul out there. 
sending me the NVIDIA, saying NVIDIA's PE, I'm sure, PE is like 2,000. How can anybody be long? Well, you're only long as long as you're long. And then when you decide that you've got to do something else, you got to do something else. Look, NVIDIA has made us, it's made a big spike to the upside. Now, I this is the pattern where you get a G. There's never an H. So you have to go back and say, uh-oh. So that was an instant restart. I circled it as a yellow, and that means that, that would have been an F slash B. I meant to put this in yesterday, but I didn't. Uh, B. And then this will be a G slash C, and G slash Cs invariably go to a D. And what did we get? We got a D. So the spikes to, it had a round number just recently, and now let's see if it had another round number. Sorry, G slash C. It's busy talking at the same time. So it's Technical Friday. We're just going into all these technicals. I'm not uh, worried about losing any time, anything. We'll get to everything. So let me just see about yesterday. So we had a huge move. Um, no, round, no round numbers there. Day before, no. 152.89 was the high. 152.89 was the high. Let me just type that in. 152.89. We're always looking for round numbers, the tops. And all it says is that uh, the, and I believe that's an E, very quick C to D to E. I just need to check. I don't want to do anything haphazardly here. So the week of the, right there. Week of the 15th of November, you had a high of 149.65. You had a high of uh, 149. Oh, 149.77. Oh, my goodness. A very quick D to E. It says you could have an instant restart, but not in a weekly chart when you go peak A, one bar rest, peak B, one bar rest, leg C, and then three bars later, it makes a peak C. Then it goes to a D, one bar rest, and E. That invariably says, it doesn't say sell signal. It just says, be careful. You've used up your upside energy. Now you're going to have to have some downside energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if next week NVIDIA toodles down to the uh, 139, 137 area. It doesn't have to. I'm just saying that's, a, that's what I would expect if there's a lower high next week. All right, so we did that. Uh, okay, let me just run these now. Um, as I say, I lost my data for the Dow. God, this is so frustrating. Every every week there's something that you have to worry about in the technical side. And that is the purely mechanical or electronic side of it. So we've lost that, but we've made a new higher high, so it doesn't really matter. That bar, I'll make it up. I'll, I'll fill it in somehow. Um, Dow's up 231. We went even higher. We went to 44,209. Um, now, I drew this in for my subscribers to my opening call uh, right here. I drew the oh, – wait a minute. I had it in my newsletter. Where is that? Newsletter, newsletter. I had it in my newsletter. I want to show you. Uh, let's go to it right now. Oh, we've got a break coming up. So the Dow's up 221. Uh, we've got a little bit of hiatus in the rally right now, just some kind of a, a digestive phase. And I will be back in a moment, and we'll talk about this particular chart right here. You can see I had it. There's that big candle. And I drew in the inside wedge resistance line. We just hit it today. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, so we're back. So let me just do this real quickly. So this is called the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target uh, Repellent Line. I take it from a particular place on the left side above the low that's made. And this takes you to uh, the 27th of, that's Wednesday, is it? Wednesday, 27th of November to try to at least get to the high that was made at 44,486 on the 11th of November. This is just a, a guide. It's the, the market doesn't know I've drawn this in, right? But that's the way it is. Um, okay, so let me just run this quickly here. You've got the S&P. The S&P is uh, up 10. It was up a little bit more. It got repelled at the Chevrolet Wave inside track repellent line. You've got the QQQ uh, at, at 59.58. You've got the QQQ. Uh, pulling back is down 96 cents at 504. What's really interesting about this, ever since the March 6 low 2009, when we went long, the, di the diamonds that very day, um, that's the following summer of 2008, not that summer, but the following summer, when we had a rotational correction, I said, wow, that is so important. That could be the theme for the next I don't know how long, but if it's a technique that you need to uh, you need to embrace and and realize that market can hold up only because one sector that was doing really well is taking a breather while another sector is really starting to move higher. So let me just do this quickly. The queues are now in that stage. They why why is the price so up there? All right, so the Qs are in that in that phase right now. They've made a high at five fourteen point sixty six. They're going to try for the for a high, but I think that what we're looking at is the rotation. The rotation says, at, for the last since the August low, um, and uh, just to, to be clear, we did go long right there the next day after the one ninety six point sixty. Uh, low in the IWM Russell 2000. Next day we went long. Then we added to. Then we had three times long, and then we took profits there. And then we, uh, then it pulled back, and we added to that the other day. Uh, we added back to the IWM anything that was taken off because um, it just looked like it wanted again to be some kind of a leader. So it is 
but they can stall. But right now, that's what it's looking like. It's running. It's up 278 at 237.29. Let's go on to the uh, – let's skip the estimations. We go to gold. Gold right now is up um, 24 at 2698. And I believe it has to do with the strength of the nine-period exponential moving average in the weekly chart. You know, I've used this technique for forever, and it is really important. Um, it just tells you that – and this is the same thing. I don't want to go there. Uh, back, if you go to the Dow, the way the Dow is held, even though it pulled back sharply, look how it sprang. It's like a coil spring. When the price pulls back and that 9 is still way above the 14 technique I discuss and I go through in my webinars uh, for subscribers to my opening call. Um, and this, so gold is holding well. But look at this. The, the GDX is doing okay. It's not great. Um, it is at 38.35. It made a low in the 35s. It made a high in the 44s just recently. And if you look at this rally, look, visualize. Look at the left side chart. That's the GDX, the gold miners ETF. Now look at gold. Isn't that a very different chart? That is so superior. Look at the SI, SI the silver contract. Eh, nothing. It's up 33 cents at 31.20. It's lagging. That's the reason why I'm calling this just for now. Um, a rebound in gold. I don't know if I haven't even got a sell, a buy signal yet. We'll have to wait for Friday to for the close today, um, right? Now let's go on to. Um, so we've done that. High grade copper really quickly. High grade copper, nothing there. Oh, I lost a bar there as well. Man, I'm gonna have to call Trade Station. I I'm so nervous because they can do things and then I lose every single one of these notations, thousands and thousands of charts. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Anyway, I mean, they're usually pretty good about it, but uh, I can always, again, just uh, go back to an archive and, I, and then have to copy, I mean, renotate a bunch of things that I'm missing. All right, so high-grade copper, nothing to see there. Let's go to the bonds. Bonds right now, nothing to see here, up to 30 seconds. It looks terrible. I think yields are going to go a little higher. Uh, meantime, back at the ranch, let's look at crude oil. That's doing nicely. And I said I would look at the XLE. I'm missing yesterday's uh, bar as well. Uh, XLE doing very nicely. So the rule is in the Chapman methodology, if you make a peak C and then it takes a while to curve around and come back and you make a D slightly higher, invariably that D has an instant restart within three bars you can now use an alternate count, and that alternate count is at least legitimate to say, think of it as something that can continue higher. So the XLE, now in leg F, but really I would consider it to be an F slash B. For those who use Chapman Wave analysis, you know what I'm talking about. And this is a leg B. There's your beautiful cup formation in the weekly chart, and that just says, uh, should I do that? No, I'll do it live. No, I mean, I've got too many things to do. Uh, this just says that round about next week, maybe, we should be testing the high of the week of the 12th of April at 98.97. And where are we now? We're at 97.45. All right, and that'll start a leg D. One penny above that uh, peak C starts a leg D. This is the S&P Select Energy Spider Fund. Okay, now questions. Um, let's go one at a time. So um, in the email, I had a question about um, a couple of people. It just coincided that between yesterday and this morning, I had a number of people saying, uh, thank you for that um, Robin Hood trade. It's been fantastic. Um, where would you add to it? Or if you miss the whole thing, where would you start a position? Those are two separate things. So what I wanted to say is that Robin Hood, and we're along from 16. This is uh, from the 16s right here. This is right the day after the 13.98 high. Uh, low, that is. We went long because I've been waiting and waiting to add to our IAI, which we have at 45. That's the uh, iShares of the um, broker-dealer ETF. And they're trading at about uh, 150 or so right now. So I wanted on the next big pullback to get it. So that's what we did. So Robin Hood trading... Uh, yesterday hit 38.11. And that leg C, which became a peak C, oh, that was three days ago, 38.11, we put that in, in light. 
So then I just got it as a number that I know. Okay, color, make it very light. There it is. Okay, so that has the characteristic with the stochastics at 86%. The MACD is good. The rate of strength is good. Nine is way over the 14. There should be a leg D. But it's at this particular point, and because the weekly chart can only be, I can't count it any other way, I'm counting it as a peak, a leg C right now, monthly chart leg E, all-time high was around number 85 in Robinhood back in August of 2021, it slumps down to 6.81 in June of 2022, and just working its way stair-step higher, and then a big acceleration uh, over the last, uh, I'd say, in the last month or so. All right, so where would you add? So I need to know where, oops, I need to know where the high is before I can tell you a measured move to the downside. So Robin Hood is the one. Another one is Palantir. We do not have Palantir. Unfortunately, I spoke about, spoke about, never got in. Here it is at uh, 80, uh, at 62. These are the two I'll talk about, and then I'll get to some others that have just come in, and that has to do with Q, U, B, T, et cetera. I'll be back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keck Stack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. 
Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. I just wanted to, I can't remember if I did this. I remember I spoke about this, the, the large rectangle formation, and that if it goes up to the top, it doesn't make a, a stair step move, peak A, peak B, peak C, and then fail just under the previous high or just above it. Um, this one made the arch formation. I said this is where the, if it takes out the left side low, it could have an equal, equidistant move from the top of the arch to the bottom. And look what happened. This went to, I just drew this in. I, 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 I'm I almost sure I mentioned I didn't have time to type it in. I just did that during the break. So that took you right to that level right there. And I just did a dashed green line because green would be positive. And look how it's bounced back to the 200 period moving average. I would also have done a left side, right side price time match to a particular candle. And they would have taken close to that low right there as a support level. So we'll see if that's uh, uh, 59 I'd say 59.63 needs to hold, otherwise there's a problem, and we'll see what happens next. So let's go back here, and we were looking at um, Robin Hood and Palantir Technologies, which screened to a leg. This is the same pattern right here. You see this large move from 5.27 to 40, the round number 45 in Palantir monthly. Now, if I back of my mind, I would have a measured move of about uh, 39 points, 40 points to the upside. I don't like to do that um, visual. I, this is for me. I don't like to actually put it on the chart because it just starts messing you up because you now have this this visualization and it takes you there, but you shouldn't. You have to go one step at a time. This is the first month that it's broken above the 45 high. So that's just the start. And it's an E. E says you've got to be a little bit careful. So I'm looking at this. And yes, I do see the 80 level, a, a double um, to the was the 80, 85 level over time. But right now, I think this is getting a little choppy. And it made a peak C. It should attempt to get to go to peak C1, C2. It could do a lot of things. But I think the 60, 65 to 67 area on a shorter term between now and, say, just after Thanksgiving, well, let's call it November, uh, is a possibility. And where would, if you've missed it, where would you want to get in? Well, it depends on how you come down. If the nine moving average is still strong and Palantir has come down to 53, 20, 50, let's call it 53, 53 or 52, and it's a 62 right now, that says, wow. If there's a rally and that 9 period moving average expands again, that's going to drag the price right up. So I don't want to just give you a number. I'm saying, back in my mind, I'm looking at this and I'm saying the area between 55 and 53 on a more intermediate term basis is what I'd be looking at. But I do this one step at a time. I haven't got the sell signal yet. All right. And Robin Hood. Same thing. So we don't have it for subscribers to my opening call. I've mentioned enough times that people did get in. I, I, for, I just didn't, for some reason, I just didn't put it in as a buy for us. Now, this one's a little different because Robin Hood trading at 35.14 of uh, five cents. I actually am tying together with the gold and the Bitcoin. They rotate between one another. Look, I lost my candle from yesterday I just keep looking around the office did it or did it fall out the uh, okay um anyway little doji candle so i'm looking at this and we went to 100,005 today in bitcoin i think we are look the on balance volumes getting quite overbought but that's stochastic at 94% that's fantastic the macd expanding fantastic relative strength hasn't even gone red yet to the 80% level is still really strong Nine's over the 14 in the prices. So I'm anticipating there could be some kind of a pullback. I have a mixed thing here because the cup and chap we've cup and uh, cup and ladle pattern, which is fantastic. It's nothing like the cup and handle, which is really a, a, a cumbersome thing. The ladle is just the ladle is. Uh, let's see, where did I have one that was just perfect? Uh, oh, I have one right here. I guess this is the weekly chart and has made this. Here's the cup. There's the ladle. There's the handle. This is not my favorite. This is part of the handle. But in miniature, the weekly chart of the BTC has do, done the cup and ladle. Now, I don't have that on the GBTC. And GBTC, I would, I'm putting more weight on the GBTC than the Bitcoin. I shouldn't, but I am. And this has already gone to a D. So all I'm saying is that I'm getting 
we, we are long, we are long IBIT um, right here. We are long from the uh, 38s. It's trading at 56 right now. We've taken a little bit off. Um, I haven't taken anything yet uh, off the, the, the most recent iteration. So let me just see here. We've taken lots of little bits off. And then we got back in and we went along again at 39.15. And um, we took a tad off for 21% gain, took another tad off. Um, oh, and then if it gets to 56.03, oh, we did. Okay. So we've taken another little bit off. Oh, I forgot to update it. I was so busy with everything else. We've taken a little bit off again at 56. I don't know if there's, I'm going to be taking much more off. I'd like to keep as much of the position as possible right now. But I am looking at this, and I'm suggesting to you that under any normal circumstances, especially when you go to a number like, I mean, this is amazing, that you can go to, where did I type that? Oh, did I make a mistake somewhere? Okay, let's just see. BTC. Uh, you can go You go to 100,005 with a little doji candle. So I think that the whole area between 99,900 and 100,100, this is going to be key because if we snap right through and start trading at 100,200, so we get into the hundred thousands and actually start making a friend instead of just a, an acquaintance. Um, that's very different. So I'm watching this very closely, and it's right at a point where you'd expect some kind of uh, a pullback. So that takes me to QUBT. QUBT. This is in the uh, quantum computing. I had spoken about this some time ago because it came up. As a, as a screamer under $10, never did anything. And then it goes toodle, toodle, toodle in the ones and uh, one and one and a half area. Whoosh! It's trading at 4.85. It's up nine cents today. So did it make a double top? No, I think it's a penny short. So 5.31 yesterday, 5.30 today. If that remains, all it needs is a leg D. And then I think it becomes kind of overbought to the extent that. Um, we, we continue with this rotation into next week where what's working is already working. What's not working is not working. Some like the semiconductors like Microsoft just stalling sideways, not really doing very much, not breaking down, not breaking up. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking leg D in the weekly chart. Uh, is this still a brand new A in the uh, monthly chart? Yeah. So I'm going to just let me do the next one. ARQQ, ARQQ. Have I updated that? No, I haven't updated that. That's DE. This is a leggy. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, Dow's up 213. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. 
an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Right, so this is live. Remember, I said live. This is where this is a measured move to, uh, to the downside. Look at the E-mini one-minute chart. Went to peak A, peak B. Now it's in leg C up at the 50, uh, 5984 level. Um, nice. Good. So, okay, just this is live. I like to do these things so that you can see the veracity of a technique. So let's just go back here. So it's ARQQ. I, in the break, I had to do many other things, but I did finish this. This is in leg E at $12, up $1.33. This, I believe, ARQQ is the ARQT, AR I think now if I'm reading it correctly, Quantum Inc., um, they're all doing the same thing. Big spike to the upside. Now, talk about spike to the upside. So the question is, um, if where would you add to the positions? Could I do an analysis? Well, the left side high, that would have been my target if this one was taken out right here in ARQQ, which is the weekly chart at 1185 back in the week of the 19th of July. Now, the next one is this one right here. The 3rd of July of, of May is $15. And where did we go today? We went to $14.45. So that would be my, uh, it would be a measured move. Um, what's the time? No, I can't do it. I, I'll, I'll do it for Monday. But right now, the support is at 11.18, the 200 period moving average in the, in the daily chart. Um, and if that's taken out, it could certainly go back to the 970 area. So th they're all doing kind of the same thing, I-O-N-Q, I I-O-N-Q. Look at this. Look at that move in the weekly chart. This is unbelievable from the sixes to the 31s. Uh, I-O-N-Q, Ionic, or whatever it's, uh, however you say it, Inc., Quantum Computers. 1590 was the um, major high for this vehicle uh, back in 2021. Then it plummeted down to the fours or the threes, whatever that is. What is that, 420 or something? 304. 304. I'm going to type that in. 304. And look at what happened. It screamed up to the 20s, came all the way back to the sevens, 3.04. And now, in a single leg, it's gone right up to where it is right this moment at the 31 um, 81 level. And this is a leg C. So I suspect it's going to go to a peak, D, a peak D. Until it makes that turn, and it's only a leg B in the weekly chart, I can't say to you a measured move. I can only say on a purely visual basis, 28, uh, the 200 period moving average, sorry, the nine period moving average is the first support. That is way above the, the uh, black 14 period moving average or 2583. That's the first area. But just if I did it by eye, if it started to fail and it took our 27, 
2780, then I'd say, okay, watch really closely because the, this chamber of Roman candle right here on the 19th with the low of 2487, this whole area between 2530 and 25, I'd say 20 and 2380, that would be there. But I, go one step at a time. I don't, I don't even have a, a turnaround yet to say this. And then stochastics at 88%, that's fantastic. So, okay, with that said, um, I've done most of the ones that we wanted. And another uh, question was, yeah, so in the uh, Tiger YouTube, that's so interesting because I was working on these over the last week and I wanted to put them in for my subscribers. Look at this, ACHR. Now, who would have thought, I've been seeing some really fascinating, I spoke about this uh, earlier in the week, that I've been seeing such fantastic um, videos of flying cars, flying cars, but it's going to take decades before it's part of the infrastructure. But on a shorter term basis, they have a place and there are people that are buying them. So the, here it is, Archer Aviation, EV, EV Toll, uh, Aircraft Transports, uh, EV Toll, I don't know what that is. People, uh, Aircraft Transport, people around cities, so there's a place for these things. Just at the moment, it'll go out of favor very soon. But right now, it's in favor. They're doing great. Look at that. There's this one. There's another one that I, I had mentioned. Oh, uh, Where did I put the darn thing? Oh, J Joby. J-O-B-Y. Yeah. Joby is Joby Aviation. Uh, another one with the Jones AVAV. So there are a bunch of these things. And I've been putting them aside to say, hey, how does this fit in? to just trades for, for subscribers. So especially the ones, this is a 200, uh, $200, the AVAV era of environment. So I'm just saying. Now, I don't know if there were other questions right now because I've been running through these things. Um, oh, could I look at Tesla? T-S-L-A. So I'm going to come back to the comment over there because I don't think it's a valid comment. Yeah, Tesla is doing great. Look, when you're in, you're in. So right now, Musk is in. And that's being reflected in the stock. So it's doing very nicely. It's trying to retest the 358.64 high that was made two and a half weeks ago. It's a leg D. It's probably going to make a peak D in the weekly chart, only a leg C in the monthly chart. So it's still in vogue. It is in favor. So I'd be real careful about thinking of anything but a very short term short because, you know, when you're in favor, things just go your way. You remember, and maybe this is one of those cases where uh, the luck favors opportunity. Was it opportunity favors? No, luck favors opportunity. Uh, but in the meantime, just, yeah, that's all I can say. It's acting very nicely right now. So then the other things that I wanted to put in here for myself, and we've got just a moment. So yeah, here comes a question. No, a statement. Never a question. It's always a statement. You and many other people don't understand or can't explain the market today. I, I, I mean, I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, we've got the positions. I do want to talk about something that might not work. We went long for the first time in, I can't even imagine how long, a position in um, natural gas yesterday morning. It it did quite nicely. Then we pulled, and now it's really sharply lower. This is not a good candle. I mean, this is a, they don't call it a widow maker for nothing or a widow maker for nothing. So we got I. We were going to put two two split positions. I said, no, we're making only one. Our stop so far is held in the UNG. Uh, take it out, take it out. I don't care. We can always get back. That's just way too deep a pullback. Um, if it was much less than this, I'd say, great. Now we can go to leg D. I have to, This is a work in progress. So far, the stop has held, but no other position. That's it. And I didn't want to add anything new today. Other until I knew exactly how this one worked out. So yes, we've had fantastic positions, uh, 50, 100 percent uh, gains in some. But hey, I could be missing on this one. It's not a big deal. The, uh, the percentage is very small, but I don't like losses. So I uh, now I can go back to the statement. You and many people don't understand or can't explain the market today. I completely disagree. You know, I'm always looking at this, and I'm always wondering how many people come and watch my show. 
we've been very lucky. We've picked lows for decades. We've also managed the tops, but not always as well. We've, we've picked the tops, even though we had, didn't always handle the position correctly. So you can look at time sequences. You can look at everything. You remember 11th was of November was the very day that I said, I have a, a cycle date um, right here. But, um, and that's the perfect top, but I didn't call it a top. So I don't know what you're talking about. As far as that, then you say US dollars two points away from 20 year highs, just the facts. I don't know what that means. I'll be back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So, um, in this one-minute chart, this is what I do. I call that a peak C1. And so far, because it's just barely failed, it just didn't make that leg D. I call that a peak C2 uppercase on the way up, C2, and I put a plus sign. That plus sign denotes that it could be a D, and it could act like a D, but so far the nine's over the 14, and that's very good. So I didn't have a chance to do this. What I'd normally do is I'd grab the left, so this is a one-minute E-mini chart I'm talking about. I'd grab this, I'd choose a particular focal point, and I'd say right there on that particular candle, there's a particular type of candle that I look at, or a peak or a trough, to use it if I can't see, look, this would be the exact midpoint right there. To me, that's a little bit long in the tooth. All right, I'll do it for now. But that's what I do. Plumb line, number of bars on the left on the way down equals the number of bars on the right to the way up. And if that's the case, then we would be looking at, move this over one, move this over one. 
That's what we were looking at right here. So on the left side, it's pink. See, so that's way too far. Um, I would have wanted it, and I would have chosen a little, I would have chosen that peak right there. That would have taken me to that point. And it missed it. And that just says, woo, you've got to be careful. And the way up is starting to um, uh, struggle a little bit. This is the one minute chart. And that's, I like to do this. And then I draw in the cup formation. Look, here's the cup formation. And in this case, I'm going to go to that low. I'll even put that in. That's not normally what I would do. I'm just going to put that in to show you the design. All right. So let's do a couple of things right now. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, within the context of where we are, I, I mentioned this. I'll do this one more time. The, oh, we're done. We're, I won't mention anything because it's all done. Have a wonderful weekend, folks. Stay tuned for Steve Rose. Should be a great show, of course, with, uh, with Steve. You've got uh, Larry today. You've got Tommy O'Brien. Have a wonderful weekend. Check out Mopi Call, my daily newsletter. And um, hey, have a good weekend.